I already made a video covering how to ROM hack Super Mario World, and from the looks of it, you guys really liked it. So we're going to step this up a bit and go into one of the best 3D games ever made, Super Mario 64. In today's video, we'll be learning how to apply custom ROM hacks to this game as well as exploring some of the programs and utilities that are used in order to do so. These kinds of tools can be applied to any of the N64 ROM hack projects if you're willing to play different versions of your all-time favorite classics. We will be exploring the different kinds of files used in order to patch these games, such as a .ips, .bps, and .ppf patching files, discussing ROM expansion processes, and demonstrating with some examples. Before you get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of these kinds of vids. For those of you who don't know, ROM hacks are fan-made modifications to video game ROM files that offer new levels, characters, graphics, blah blah blah, you get the idea. The changes are stored in patch files that are used in order to change different properties of the ROM in general. The .ips file is used for international patching system that are simpler and smaller but can't handle large ROM files. The .bps file or bpatching system are used for more larger ROM files with better error handling. The .ppf file or the PlayStation patch format are used for more significant modifications but require that the actual ROM to be expanded. To apply these patches we're going to need floating IPS for IPS files, BEAT for BPS files, and ppf omatic for PVF files. What we're going to do is download the necessary programs in order to install these patches as well as a couple games in order to show you, show you a difference between a complicated ROM hack process and a more simple one. First, Waluigi's Taco Stand. A very simple hack, because I can never say no to my boy. This ROM hack I found on the Mario Wiki page can be easily found just using Google. Download the program Flow IPS in order to apply this patch. Simply just apply patch, search for your patch, and then search for the original game. And then it'll give you a window on what you should save it as. And there you go, a simply patched ROM hack that you can easily drag and drop into Project 64. I also should let you know that if the video isn't working, you might either have to apply the patch again or use a different video plugin that can be easily found in the graphics settings. All these ROM hacks that I download are often zip files with readmes that have very detailed instructions on how to install them. Since the developer intends for you to play their ROM hack, they want to make sure that you're able to play it in the best way possible. Now let's move on to a more complex ROM hack that requires a PPF patch. This one's called Star Road, which is the most downloaded Super Mario 64 ROM hack on the site. Once we get the zip file, we're going to extract it, and then we're going to expand our original ROM using the ROM extender tool. With this, it'll create a larger ROM that can accommodate extra data for the Star Road patch. But sometimes in different cases, the developer wants you to do something a little bit different. Like in this case, where I have to drag and drop it onto a command line program so that it can extend it even more. But these are rare and far between. Like I said, use those readmes. Next, we'll apply the .ppf patch using ppf omatic. Select the file and then select the Star Road PPF file and then hit patch. And then it should work just by opening it in Project 64. It's always fun to see these kinds of ROM hacks with this much creativity. Remember, always work on a copy of your ROM though to avoid damaging the original file. That's it, you've been able to see the process of applying a Mario 64 ROM hack using both methods. And now you can take any of these ROM hacks on SMW Central and apply it to your original copy in the same way. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like it and subscribe to Maximum Tips for more awesome tech and gaming related content. If you have any other ideas that I should cover, leave me a comment and I'll get to it. 